Hello, everyone! Cats are fed. And it's time for another edition of Try Hard Racing with me, Rollcades TV. I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent. But it is a lot of stories to tell. And uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear any of those stories over this, this race. I picked a noisy car class to do this intro. So uh, maybe I'll shut this down. But I will say, well, maybe you're asking, what the heck is this? Look at all the bright, colorful lights and the... Uh, other stuff and these are uh this is a road race i thought you did dirt racing i do and and this is dirt racing well it's not all dirt racing for those who missed uh, my announcement yesterday the gravel career playthrough has come to an end we finished that up yesterday and uh, it was time for something new. So, the something new that I picked was this, which is Forza Horizon 4. Now you may be thinking, Forza, isn't that like just a Xbox game? Well, no, it's a uh, PC. It's probably, I don't know if it's more played on PC or Xbox, but it's a PC game. Forza series has been a PC game since two, which is uh, at least, six years or so ago, maybe more. Um, so that's what this is, Forza Horizon 4. And I have a story to tell about this game. And I will tell it, but uh, first I gotta get out of this replay because it's so loud. <laughs> oh boy, I came in second, I think. And there is music in the background, but I am assured by the makers of this game that if I put it in streamer mode, which I did, the only music that will play is license free. So, uh, hopefully that'll be true. Yeah, I came in second. I'm not practiced up. But actually that's fine, because I'm playing, uh, probably playing an appropriate difficulty level then. Well, this car is a beast to try to handle. This is one of my favorite cars. This is uh, the Austin. There it is. Anyway, so this is Forza Horizon 4. It is an open world game. For those of you who haven't heard, it is very deep. How deep? It is this deep. This is how deep Forza Horizon 4 is in a nutshell. This is the open world, and everything colorful on here is something to see or do. Something to do. In fact, some of the, some of the uh, less colorful things were things that had to be done that I already did, like all this stuff. When you come in here and you first do it, there's a, like a scavenger hunt. You have to find all these different things. And uh, so there's beauty spots and all these other things you need to find. You literally need to discover every road that's on this. Well, the roads are marked out in gray, but you need to drive on every road in this map to discover it. And you get credit for that. And you get credit for all these other little things you find. But that's just the beginning. And I'm not redoing that part because the game is really, really deep. As I mentioned, there's a lot to it. Um, and I'm not going to reset all of my progress in this game to show you guys through the career because there are other people on the internet that have done that that have probably done a much better job than I ever could. What this is, is a story. This is a story about why I left playing for his Horizon 4, what attracted me to it, why I left it, what's brought me back, and then um, checking out some of the new stuff that I haven't seen before. So, what is Forza Horizon 4? This is Forza Horizon 4. It's open world. You can go anywhere you want. Uh, you can drive around, find, uh, you know what? I am going to 
uh, change cars into something more suitable <laughs> for talking over. Uh, let's see. Find one of my favorites here. Oh, I know what I'll pick. Nice quiet car, if I can find it. Yeah, I got a lot of favorites. I played this game a long time. Yes, I'll take the car. Thank you very much. Ignore what you see on the screen. This comes up later in the... the uh... <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know. I don't think I own any quiet cars. Okay, I'll drive slowly. So this is Forza Horizon 4. It is open world. You can go anywhere you want. As you go places, you will see coming up here in front of me is a track. It says, oh, this is a race. When you get up to it, you get a little uh, flag in front of you that says, oh, this is a race you can run in. That's the one I just ran in, the Sprint Festival. But you can drive anywhere else you want. And of course, you don't have to stick on the road. You can drive anywhere. And if Forza Horizon 4 is one thing, it's not sticking to the road. It's doing this kind of stuff. It's smashing through trees. It's smashing through fences. It's uh, hooning around, as they say. It's all about hooning. You may also notice up at the top, I'm getting points for all of this stuff. This is why people like and play Forza Horizon 4, because it's not just a racing game. You can do races, but it's for goofing off in. And uh, people like goofing off. They like breaking things. I like breaking things. This game came out, oh, what, about three and a half years ago, something like that. And normally, they, the Horizon titles, they start new ones every two years. Um, but this game has continued on. It's becoming, I don't know what their exact plans are, but they're adding stuff to it con continuously. It's becoming more of a forever game in the realm of, like, uh, Rocket League or Fortnite or something like that. They'll keep adding things to it. And there's a lot they've added in the last two years. As I said, I have not played this game in over two years. In fact, it's almost been exactly two years since I have played this game. And that's because an event happened uh, June 13th, 2019, almost exactly two years ago today. And that started me on my discontent with this game. Let me mention that, and uh, you know, then we'll get in and, and we'll see what, what it all has to offer. As I said, this is a fantastic game, uh, if I haven't said before. I used to play this game obsessively, probably four hours a day or more. If I wanted to stream this game for two hours a day, I could easily do that. I don't know yet if I want to do that. Maybe I will stream it for two hours a day, three days a week, something like that. That's, that's probably what's likely going to happen, unless I get completely turned off again. But I don't think I will. So going back to the map, you see there is all this stuff. But there's also... Oops, that's the zoom in. Uh, there's also other places you can go. There's expansion kits. And each expansion kit is about, I think, a quarter the size of this map. So with the two expansion kits, that's something like another 50% added to the game. And each of those... Um, places give you more of this there's more roads to discover there's more cars to discover that's what these barn finds are there's more um, chapters of stories these are little sideline stories which is one of the things i'm, I'm going to catch up on here there's these stunts where you try to go as fast as you can go there's races of course there are um oh there are these things uh, these are showcase events, and this is one of the things that made Horizon Horizon when it first came out. You race, you do goofy races. Most of the races are pretty normal, but as you progress and find things and win other races and get, get uh, influence points, I think they're called in this version, uh, you get to unlock these showcase events. And these showcase events are crazy. They're meant to be crazy. Here you're racing against a Delta Wing... Um, aircraft a, a fighter jet and uh, there's another one here uh, that I particularly like uh, where is it here you're racing against a hovercraft a huge monstrous hovercraft <laughs> so they're crazy and they're meant to be crazy the game is meant to be crazy it's meant to be a serious game that's not taking ser taken seriously is that a good description for it 
for those of you out there who know it, you let me know. Um, and there are, of the races, there are different kinds of races. This is a cross-country race. This is a road race, uh, etc. And you progress up in parallel tracks for each of those race types. And then eventually you unlock a, um, a finale challenge, a challenge race for that showcase so that you will get, for example, here, this is the gauntlet. It's the, the dirt racing series premier event. And once you unlock all of the, the challenges, the, you get the final challenge, which is, um, that's not it. Anyway, you get a final challenge. It's like, you know, the big, the big monster challenge. And the goal is to unlock all this stuff and to complete the career by doing that. And here, this is, this is what I mean by complicated. Look at this menu. <laughs> I can't keep track with everything that's on this menu, and that's just the home page. Here's the Horizon Life menu, the Fortune Island menu, etc., 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 etc. So there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. Like I said, you could easily lose yourself four hours a day, and I did. I had to play this game obsessively for uh, two, uh, close to two years, probably. This is the fourth in the series, the first Horizon. I don't think had any expansion kits. I did not play it. The second Horizon had one expansion kit where they changed the climate. It was on the uh, French and Italian Riviera. That was the location. Horizon 1 was in the American Southwest. Um, and there, the expansion for Horizon 2, you had a, I think it was called Storm Island. You went off to some other island, some other landmass, and um, it was always rainy and stormy, and it was it was a lot of fun. All the races were in mud and muck, and it was it was a blast. Then Forza Horizon 3 came out, and uh, Forza Horizon 3, I, I forgot to mention the basic premise of the Horizon series is it's like the ultimate music slash auto festival, where it's populated by young kids, and I remember. Forza Horizon 2, you would get these like bracelets, and you know everyone's 20 years old, and and uh, you know you're you're out, you're driving around, listening to rock and roll music, watching people crash their cars into things, basically. And uh, Forza Horizon 3 added some customizability, and they had instead of one festival site, they had like four festival sites. You had to unlock them each in order, but then they had two expansion kits. The first expansion kit was a winter themed island I don't remember what it's called and that was cool that was great because you got to drive on snow and ice and whatever and uh, the basic Forza games are all like summertime but you may look around and say well this isn't summertime so this one is based in, in the fall right well no actually um, this game adds let's see if I can find it here this game adds seasons. Every week, yes, there's more menus to unlock that are overcrowded. Every week there are these, a change in seasons. We just finished the summer season. Uh, that's why some of this stuff is grayed out. We're now into the autumn season. And uh, this will last for, I don't know, where can I find the number of days here? Uh, I don't know. It'll last for another five or six days or so, something like that. This should tell me. Another five days, 14 hours, and 36 minutes. And what happens is, when the season changes, the entire environment changes. So, summertime, you get summer weather. Autumn, you get more rain. And you get falling leaves and things, which can make the road slipperier. And that actually happens. In the wintertime, everything's frozen. And you're driving on snow all the time. So, you get to drive on snow for an entire week. If you don't like driving on snow, well, they have options for that too. But basically, you're driving on snow for the entire week. There are lakes, and the lakes freeze over, and there's a drag race that can only be done in the wintertime across a frozen lake, which is pretty cool. And then there's spring. Spring is a lot more rainy, um, you know, and there's other, other things, spring-like things. So the environment changes every week, is what I'm saying. So they didn't need an expansion kit to 
add a new environment. They didn't need an expansion kit to do winter. So the first expansion kit in this game was uh, Treasure Island, I think it was called. And uh, it was basically more of the same. It was another landmass about a quarter the size of the main map, which was very samey to this, which I love because I love this game. I love how it plays out. I love all the things that are to do in the game. And uh, that had all the same things to do in the game. But for Her Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4 also added second expansions. There were two expansions for each of the games. Now, if you bought the sight unseen pre-order expansion pass, you got both expansion kits for about the same as the price of one alone, a little bit more, but uh, definitely not. Uh, you save a, a tremendous amount, like 40% over buying them each individually. It was a tremendous amount. So, since I loved, loved Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 seemed like more of the same, I got that uh, expansion bundle. I got the first expansion, the winter one, was totally thrilled with it. Um, and then the second one came out and they decided, well, since we're doing two expansion kits, well, we only have to make one good one, right? That's a little snarky. What they decided to do with the second expansion is do a branded expansion where they teamed up with some brand that they could cross promote and uh, make an environment that's themed around that brand. Well, it had to be some kind of car related brand, right? So they picked Hot Wheels. I think you might know where this is going. The second expansion kit for Horizon 3 was a Hot Wheel theme island where you got to drive Hot Wheel cars, cars that actually, to be fair, had prototypes made of them, like the Bone Shaker and a bunch of other ones. Um, and the island was supposed, the, the premise was that there's some mega billionaire that built Hot Wheel tracks, life-size Hot Wheel tracks all over his island. And you got to drive in races all over the island on these Hot Wheel tracks. Now, there were parts of that that were really fun. Let's keep in mind, this game does not take itself seriously. And that was definitely not taking itself seriously. Um, one of the problems was it was hard to get around the world. It kind of lost its open-worldy feel because most of the world was up in the sky on these Hot Wheel tracks, and you can't, even the ones that were on the ground on the Hot Wheel tracks, you couldn't drive off the Hot Wheel tracks. That's, that's the whole idea of a Hot Wheel track. It tells you where to go. Um, and I think there were mixed reviews for it. I mean, I, I was very, um, meh. Some things were fun about it, but it lost its appeal pretty quickly for me. I don't know how other people felt. I've heard negative things. I heard some people saying, wow, this is great. But, uh, I think a lot of people, they kind of lost interest as I did. So then Forza Horizon 4 came out and, um, the first expansion, as I mentioned, was the um, Treasure Island. Again, more of the same. They didn't have to do a different environment because the environment changes every week. And it was great. I loved it. New, new locations, new everything. Um, for the longest time, I always started my day there playing and then hopped back to the main island if I had something I wanted to do there. But then on June 13th, 2019, as I said, almost exactly two years ago today, uh, they released the second expansion kit. Now, I'm going to be on my soapbox here, on my, and I'm riding a high horse on top of a soapbox, which is kind of hard, because uh, you need, like, you know, it's hard to get a high horse to keep all of his hooves on a single soapbox. But I'm going to try to do it. The expansion kit that they came out with was another co-branding deal having not learned their lesson, well, having learned two lessons from the uh, Lego, I'm sorry, the uh, Hot Wheels um, uh, co-branding. One is, you can make a lot of money with a co-branding deal. <laughs> and two is, a lot of people are gonna hate you for it. Most people will be okay, but you're gonna make a lot of money from a co-branding deal. So they decided that they would do a co-branding deal for their second expansion, which they had already planned out, but had kept completely secret. I, of course, bought the, the expansion 
pre-order kit to get both expansions. Oh, there, there's some other bennies too. Um, liveries and cars and stuff. Besides just the land. With each expansion, it also comes with more cars, more, uh, more other bennies. Well, I actually kind of gave it away. The co-branding deal was with Lego. On June 13th, 2019, they released the Lego expansion. Wait a minute, what does Lego have to do with cars? Well, I mean, there are cars in Lego, right? But they're like all made out of Legos. They aren't actual cars. I mean, Hot Wheels has actual cars. They're models, but they're actual cars. And, you know, you can make a prototype of one of these little race, zoom, zoom racing cars. And of course, yeah, having life-size Hot Wheel tracks, that would actually break physics. You couldn't do a loop-de-loop. -loop, otherwise, you know, all the blood would rush from your head and you'd die, things like that. But you know kind of hand wavy oh this mega billionaire build all of these hot wheel tracks you kind of sort of get by that but this was an entire island filled with legos there were lego buildings there were lego cars there were lego people cheering you on the sides jumping up and down lego people not people lego people your driver, fortunately, still looked the same. You build an avatar. You didn't have to play as a Lego person. But, uh, and you could drive your normal cars. There's like over 500, 600, I don't know. There's hundreds and hundreds of cars available in this game, all said and done. But the goal of the Lego world was to, same as the others, in the basic campaign, <coughs> uh, basic career, you go through... You play different races, which unlock other races, depending on how well you do. There's other things to do, things to find, etc. side adventures. But the main adventure is you unlock races to eventually unlock the whole race. Well, they introduced a new currency called bricks. And every time you won a race or did well in a new race or new event, you could earn bricks. If, for example, you picked a stunt, like um, uh, how fast you can drive through a, a speed sign, or let's say a, a jump. There are jumps in the game. If you drive off a jump, a hazard sign, you can get one, two, or three stars in the basic game, and those stars go to something that I don't even remember, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there's so many different tracks of, of, of finding things. If you're a completionist, you'd go completely crazy in this game because it would be absolutely, utterly impossible. Coming back to that in a minute. Um, but in the Lego expansion, you were no longer doing, let me go over there, I'll show you what I mean. In the Lego expansion, you were no longer searching for, you were no longer getting stars for doing these stunts, and the stars were unrelated to the main campaign. In the Lego land, you had to collect these bricks, and you would get bricks for accomplishing races, but that wasn't enough. Running the races was not enough to eventually unlock all the races and quote unquote complete the, the career. The career, the campaign, the main campaign in uh, the LEGO expansion is to unlock a series of cars. You unlock a series of races. If you win the race, you get a new car. They're all LEGO cars, you know, you understand. But you unlock a series of cars. And uh, the thing was, they decided to do something different. They made these bricks. You collect bricks rather than stars. And uh, there's an example of a jump, for example. Oh, it's lots of fun. I'm not saying it isn't fun. And it makes a very satisfying plasticky clunk when you run into them. Um. But the biggest problem I had with the game wasn't because it was hokey. And to me, you know, that does bother me a little. It's a game, Forza, or Horizon is a game that doesn't take itself seriously. So, okay, it's hokey. There's nothing wrong with that. Wow, I, I found something new after all this time? Well, to be honest, I wasn't a completionist on this uh, particular, on this particular game. And the reason for that is because when they changed the currency from stars, which were just a sidelight for doing these stunts, to 
bricks, you could not complete the main campaign unless you collected enough bricks because the unlock races, which would allow you to unlock the, the prizes, that is the cards, the later cards, you had to collect enough bricks. But you couldn't get enough bricks by merely unlocking races and winning those races. You had to also do these challenges. And these challenges can be hard. The challenges involve, like you just saw there, I found something, a scavenger hunt, I found something. That gave me a certain number of bricks as it showed you on the screen, right on cue. I did not plan this in advance. Um, but you also had other challenges you had to do, like that jump, for example, I just did. You had to get so much on certain jumps. You had to, um, wait a minute, how did this menu come up? Oh, that's right, you gotta go to this menu. You had to, um, where are the, uh, ah, here we go. Here's the, pro here's the map of what you had to do. You see all these bricks here? They're all gold. That means I got as high as I could. I got three stars in all these things. And there are, as you can see, a lot of them. Some of them are for races. Some of them are for doing stunts. Some of them are for um, finding things, etc. It's all the same currency. So the only way to progress in the main, and this is the crux of it, the only way to progress in the main campaign was to also complete all of the side campaigns, all the side quests. And you had to complete, it, complete them at a sufficiently high skill level. Well, this is try hard racing. I don't have a sufficiently high skill level uh, to do much of anything. Is this the one that's unlocked? Oh, this is a different one. Oh. Anyway, um, you had to, to unlock the final race. You had to unlock all of these brick challenges and then complete them all almost all of them to a three-tier level, one, two, or three-tier. As you can see, almost my entire map here is gold, and I still need uh, 2,400 bricks to complete the map. I've got 9,000 something out of 11,000, something like that. So I'm still only 80% um, or so done, 85% done. And I did everything I could, but Oh, look at this one. I got one star at the field lane drift zone. Uh, drifting is not a racing skill. Drifting is a skill. It's not a racing skill, and it's not a skill I have. And I very much resented the fact that in order to complete the racing challenges in this expansion, I had to first complete all the drift challenges, as well as the jump challenges, as well as the speed challenges, as well as uh, certain other challenges like uh, you had to crash through 20 garbage cans, Lego ga garbage cans, within 30 seconds or something. I don't know. Something like that. They're weird, bizarre challenges that are throughout this. And because I could not do better than one star on most of these uh, drift zones, I could not get enough bricks. I only got 85% completion, and I could not get enough bricks to unlock the final race where I could get the final prize, which is this Bugatti Lego edition car. Now, could I play the game without that? Yes. Could I just ignore Lego Island and never play there? Yes. Could I play on Lego Island and not care about unlocking the last race? Yes, but I very much resented that I could not, not just I could not, a completionist would want to complete everything. I didn't want to complete everything. If you watch my Dirt 5 playthrough, though, you may know I'd like to unlock everything. Well, I couldn't unlock anything. It's like playing Dirt 5, as I did, and there's a final showdown with uh, AJ, as it turns out. You think it's somebody else. When you beat that somebody else, you end up with a final showdown against AJ. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> it was, would be like I could not face AJ unless... I, I did every race, got three stars in every race, collected, uh, did, got three stars in every uh, the, the, the goofy Gymkhana events, went into the playground, 
uh, and aced a whole bunch of those. And then I could finally unlock the last challenge to face AJ. Win all the throwdown races, also so that I could face the final AJ. It's ridiculous. They force you to be a completionist, or pretty close to a completionist. Like I said, I'm only 85% of the way there. And uh, I resented that. I resented that so much, and it caused me such emotional pain, <laughs> to be honest, that uh, I stopped playing the game. I just stopped. So after a month or so, I just stopped playing. So after 30 minutes of this two hour let's play, I have now explained what Forza Horizon is, why I loved it so much, and then why I grew to, to never play it. So what's brought me back? Well, a couple things have brought me back. One is you don't have to complete the brick challenges anymore to unlock the final race. Despite what it says here, um, to, to unlock the champion's final, um, the champion's final actually is already unlocked. When I came in here, um, it told me, oh yeah, you can, you can actually do this champion's final now. So I did that and I got the, the, I got the Bugatti. Um, oh, maybe that wasn't the champion's final. Uh, I might still not be able to complete the game. So I got all these side ones, but I didn't get the final race. But I knew that they had other things. I did not have the Bugatti as the thing. And then I was able to get the Bugatti. That became unlocked. And I was able to get the Bugatti. Is this the one? Maybe this is the final one. The Lego Goliath. Anyway, so they changed things around a little bit about being able to complete the career without collecting all the bricks. It's still incredibly frustrating that they use that as a criteria, that you had to be a completionist to get everything, when being a completionist is like nearly impossible, um, unless you are highly skilled. And this is something I have, this, this is the tryhard's lament. People build video games have a certain skill at that game. When they ask for playtesters, virtually all the playtesters they get have an equal or higher amount of skill to the people that develop the game. But not everybody who buys the game is going to have that skill level. And they have gotten zero feedback from people that don't have an incredibly high, compared to the average, skill level um, for their game. I've done playtesting. I did playtesting for uh, a company 10 years ago, producing a racing game. And I was a valuable enough member of that playtest group that they actually asked if I wanted to join their, their, their company as a permanent playtester for two reasons. One, I did really good, gave really thorough reports, but also I wasn't that good. And they had no way of getting feedback from people that weren't that good. <laughs> And it's important to get feedback from people that aren't that good if you want to sell your product all over the, you know, to a whole range of people and uh, people that may never get any better than they are now. Kind of the culture of, of especially online video game playing is, well, just get good. And if you aren't good at this game, well then, noob, go play something else. Or don't play any games because you're just not good at games. So go, you know, play golf or something and, and leave us all alone because we're all, we're all pros here. Or we all think we are because we're all 17 and you think you're a pro when you're 17. At any rate, um, but after two years, I knew there were lots of changes. I played uh, with Highway Buster, uh, shout out to Highway Buster. He encouraged me to come back and to um, play some more Horizon 4. He's gone through everything. And there's a lot of things that have changed in the game since then. As I said, they've added a lot in the last two years. So what this playthrough is about is about going through the new content. I got, came here. I won the Bugatti. I turned everything down to the lowest difficulty level so I could win that race. I win the Bugatti, and I got out. And uh, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the menu, and I'm going to get out, and uh, hopefully I will never see this place again. Where... Uh, why can I not, uh, I have to do it this way. Oh, that's interesting. 
Okay. Well, uh... Where am I? Travel to Great Britain. There we go. And I hope to never see Lego Island ever again. You will not be seeing Lego Island in this Let's Play. It's very... Or this Welcome Back series. It's very unlikely that you will see Lego Island in this Welcome Back series. I'm going to try to put that out of my mind and just move on. And, uh... Will I buy Horizon 5 when it comes out eventually? Uh, maybe. But maybe not. I bought Horizon 3 sight unseen. I bought Horizon 4 sight unseen. I may not buy Horizon 5. I don't know. Um, if I buy Horizon 5, will I buy the expansion uh, pack? Save a whole bunch of money if they do the same deal where they give you two expansions for just over the price of one? No. No, I'm not going to do that. Which is probably why I won't buy the game in the first place, because I will feel like I'm not, I don't have everything. I can't fully enjoy the game because I don't have the DLC. And I kind of like having the DLC. I can afford it. But uh, I don't want to see who they do a branding deal. I want to see who they do a branding deal with next before I buy the expansion kits. And I'm probably not going to buy the game until I see who they do their branding deal with next. Because... Who knows? Maybe you'll be driving around toothpicks in the next expansion. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll have they'll have some other way that, to frustrate you from being able to continue if you're not of a, a sufficiently high skill in certain disciplines. I mentioned when I did my Dirt 5 playthrough that um, Dirt 3 very much frustrated me because you had to get to a certain level of competency in every d discipline, including Jim Kana, to be able to finish the campaign. Well, I couldn't do that, but after a month or so, I finally was able to get by enough that I could unlock all the races and finish the career. I could never finish the career on Lego Island because there's no alternative. All the side quests are the main quest. Anyway, so that's my rant. That's why I'm not playing Lego Island. That's why I gave up Wars Horizon 4. And, uh... I'm back because I want to see what's new. That's the bottom line. So, let's see what's new. I can't just do this. But I happen to know one thing. The first thing I want to see that's new are these stories and businesses. This is a good example of side quests that are in the game. There are these these businesses like I did this one I got 20 out of 30 stars total this one is a world's fastest rental car and you go there and you drive around these really incredible cars in order to um, uh, test drive you know demonstrate how good these cars are for potential renters to get the word out about how good your cars are um, it's a hokey premise but once you complete the the 10 chapters, he cuts you in on the, on the business so that you actually get income in credits from this business. You notice in the upper right, I have 92 million credits. That's a lot, but it's not enough even to buy all the cars in the game. <laughs> um, so that's one type of business. Another type of, another type of story is, let me find another one here. Uh, this one? No. Uh, this one, the stunt driver. This is not a business. This is just a straight story. You complete this whole story. I think you get a car at the end when you complete the whole story. But they don't cut you into the profits. You see there's quite a few of these out here. But they've added more. There are now actually one, two, three that I haven't done. But there's also this one that I don't... You see I haven't done any stars. I actually just went in and did the first chapter. I never completed it. This is the first thing I'm going to do here today. Now, you could choose to just set a marker and drive there but uh oh sure let me do that because then uh, that'll give me a, a reason to explain something else you see there's a racing line on the on the ground here i'm following the racing line yeah maybe i should turn anna's voice off anna is the gps voice um and if you were watching my gravel playthrough you know i hate driving lines but uh, you might have to play with a driving line in this game if you want to show any competency at all. 
because it's an open world game. And I remember when I came back to look at this as I was contemplating whether I wanted to do a let's play of this or not. Um, without a driving line, it's an open world game. You're like totally lost. You can't, you can't win a race. <laughs> I can't win a race, let's say. Uh, without a better guide to where everything is than the little map you see on the left there. Because you're not just driving on on a closed course. That one that I did the um, that I did the demo race on, that was a closed course. But a lot of these you're not driving on a closed course. You're just driving across open roads, and if you don't know where to go, um, you know you're not going to beat even the. You know, I can't beat the lowest AI if I don't know where I'm going. So I need a driving line. I guess I kind of resent that too, because I don't like the driving line. <laughs> I said in gravel, I would love the driving line if it was always blue in this case. That's fine. I don't mind them telling me a good place to go. Actually, you know what? Let me go off road. I don't mind them telling me where I need to go. And take an ideal line through the corners, yeah, well, yeah, whatever. What I do what I do not like is the driving line with the braking markers because to me that takes away a lot of the fun of of uh, racing is learning how to brake not just the angle to get into a corner but also the uh, where to brake on the corner and if the racing line tells you where to brake that takes a lot of uh, a lot of the fun out of it so I'm here with the driving line wait a minute I lost, I lost where I'm going. Where am I going? Ah, there it is. I think I almost got myself to back into the beginning somehow. So, it's uh, 42 minutes in. I'm gonna stop my complaining now. Maybe, maybe I won't. I don't know, maybe this will be a one, uh, one episode series. We'll see. If you like this game, if you know about this game, and you want to, uh, you want to fight for it, um, if you want to uh, tell me how great it is, or if you got it and you think it sucks, you want to tell me how much it sucks, both of those are fine. Leave a comment down below. I, I, I more than happy. I welcome um, comments and criticisms to to the things that I say. If I got something wrong. Please let me know if there's uh, if there's always been a way to unlock the final race in uh, in uh, uh, Lego, and I just wasn't aware of it. Well, let me know what it is, please. Uh, when I looked online, and don't say that. Oh well, you can cheat the system by creating custom races and racing those. They plug that patch. That they, they patch that. That was a workaround. That was a, a back door that I did not take advantage of because I didn't know in time. But you can no longer, and that's the suggestion to get online. You can no, but you can no longer do that. You can no longer get earn bricks by doing custom races, which would allow you to create your own races that are really easy and earn all the bricks you need. You only do. You can only earn bricks with your with the races they say, and you can't get enough bricks to unlock everything unless you can drift basically. That's what it comes down to for me. I can't drift, so I couldn't unlock the last grade. Okay. I am going to select chapter, because I don't even remember what the first chapter is, and we'll do this from the top, shall we? Oh, I remember I got two stars on whatever it was. So here's a night. Here, this will give you a good, uh, good look-see into what side campaigns are like in this game. The things that are not required to complete the main campaign. Thanks for coming down. Don't worry. This isn't one of those, now you must face the master things. This is a, with our powers combined thing. This is a show horizon what skill really is thing. And for that, you're going to need some truly wicked rides. This is my 918 Spider. I love my 918 Spider. Hybrid sports car, light and powerful, accelerates like a rocket. 
Take some time to master, but once you do, whew, wanna give it a go? Of course I do. Why would I be here if I Here's get one Here's some traffic I prepared earlier. Show me what you got. All right, he's prepared the traffic? Okay. I am probably, I am unlikely to do as well as I did the first time. Now here's an example of, if I had to follow the map, I couldn't never even get one star on this, on this challenge because I can't look at the road and look down at the same time. Shortcut. Yeah. He loves his 918 Spider. I think I like mine more because I have mine too. Oh, that's another thing. It's a goofy game that doesn't take itself seriously. But there are some serious... If, if, you're, a, uh, if you're a motorhead, there are some serious tinkering that you can do. You want to tinker. There's some serious tinkering you can do in setting up your cars. I don't think it's quite individual tire pressure tinkering, but there's a lot of tinkering you can do. Maybe I'll show that off before the, the uh, let's, let's play is over. And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, on YouTube, I will mark a stream marker that says end of ramp. <laughs> so I'll make sure there's a chapter on YouTube that shows when my rant ends. And you're gonna see things flash on the screen that I'm gonna ignore because I don't I can't possibly look at everything on the screen. It's a very busy game. Um For example, there's a little challenge there. There are, like in Dirt Rally 2, there are weekly challenges. And there are daily challenges. And that's why I could easily spend two hours a day in this game just losing myself in the various challenges. Uh well, that's gonna hurt me. Oh wait, I need to earn skill points before I do? What are, what are my skill points? I need to earn 25 dollars skill points, so I should be crashing with things. Wait, 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 don't don't finish yet, I gotta crash into my things. Yeah, go for it. But remember, if you trade pain, it doesn't count. And I'll probably get in a lot of trouble from Kira. I wasn't looking at the goals. So I got one star. I just can't get to that destination too soon. Ah, I lost my chance. Here's how the skills work, folks. You get a skill chain. Skills are things like drifting and uh, crashing into things. Mostly crashing into things. And uh, if you crash into things over and over again, you end up with a skill chain. You got so many seconds to uh, to continuously crash into things, otherwise you lose your skill chain. Now that's another thing that you can upgrade with your own cars. I don't have that ability here. 18 seconds, I think I better get there. You owned that spider. That was amazing. You can't actually have it though. It's mine. <laughs> Call me up soon, yeah? We'll go off-road. And only one star. As I said, the first time I did it, I got two stars. These, uh... I'm assured that these songs are license-free. They better be. <laughs> I do have streamer mode on. As I, I have not played this game in two years, so I'm terrible at it. Uh, I used to got I used to be pretty decent at it. Let me make sure that uh, I do have streamer mode on. Yep, streamer mode is on. What I did is I came in here. I saw I could get my Bugatti. I set everything to the lowest difficulty level possible. Got the Bugatti, and. Uh, 
then um, I went back and uh, decided, well, maybe I will play through this game a little bit, see what it's like. And if I'm going to play a game, I might as well do it on stream, see what I miss. And so, uh, um, oh, I'm losing my train of thought today, big time. I don't know. I was going to say something. Anyway, oh, what I was going to say is I don't know a lot about what's new. And uh, I did not practice anything. I came in, I ran that one race. I did a sound check a couple days ago to try to get the levels balanced. I raced a little bit um, to try to get some thumbnails. I got a sick thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> um, and that's it. So let's move on. The thing about skills is, on-road, off-road, doesn't matter. You just want everybody looking at you. And if your streak never ends, they can never look away, right? So I want you to take my Audi Sport Quattro and keep my attention for as long as possible. And as we know, I have a very short attention span. All right. Drift some corners, catch some air, knock over a fence for all I care. If I'm watching, Horizon will be watching. So the goal here is simple. Again, apparently this whole ch this whole uh, adventure is uh, skill. Do I need to reach a destination? Yes, I do. Okay. So I should probably start heading now. Yes, you have to chain together these uh, these stunts, these skills. Drifting, uh, crashing into things, whatever. But if you crash into anything solid, the skill chain ends. If you crash into a car, well, there goes your skill chain. And of course I'm taking a shortcut, because that's what the game is all about. Virtu virtually all of the, I think maybe all of the races in the game are checkpoint races. That, that's what they would call them in, uh, in, um, gravel which I just played which is there are markers on the ground that you have to hit each checkpoint are they able to set you back to it if you miss it I need 70,000 points and I uh, only have like 1,000 so far bad, so I guess I know what that thing is capable of ah. come on there we go I found the easiest way to uh, rack up skills is to find find a fence or something and drift around and occasionally hit the fence because uh, eventually you'll like if you get points for drifts you will uh, eventually you'll get the ultimate level of whatever that skill is and then you can't build it up again so. Hit a fence in between. I should be able to get two stars, I think. The other thing about this game, and I did a lot of this before, I don't think I'm going to do any of the, this episode, probably not the next episode. I'm going to take these first few episodes to go through these stories. But uh, it's very much a social game. I did not go into solo mode, maybe I should do that. But uh, when you first sign into the game, it's assumed that you want to play in a party. They will assign you a party if you don't know how to have one. It's like when you go to a restaurant alone, sometimes when it's crowded, they'll say, here, you have to seat with this person. Maybe that's just diners, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> maybe they don't do that anymore. They probably don't do that anymore. That sounds creepy for today's day and age, but I'm old. They would do stuff like that back in the day. There are probably uh, rom-coms completely, you know, from the 50s that are completely devoted to that sort of concept. Being placed at a table with a random stranger. Oh, wait, 23 seconds. I think I better get there. 
just got a call from the festival. The whole place is at a standstill watching you. Nice work. I'll start working on it. You got my two stars? Oh, uh, can I, I have my Audi don't back now? I think so. What do I need? 180? Nah, well, one star. This is probably not going to be my uh, most successful uh, endeavor here. Because it involves hooning, and uh, I like racing. I don't necessarily like hooning. For those of you even close to approaching my age and don't know what hooning is, <laughs> it's basically goofing off in your car. <laughs> Doing donuts and stuff in the parking lots, only taken to an extreme level. Okay, continuing. Oversteering is a skill. E-braking is a skill, sure. You know what else is a skill? Keeping your foot planted even when the speed pulls your lips back off your teeth. Come on, I want to show you something. Bugatti EB110 Supersport. It's got four-wheel drive so it will handle, but you give this thing an open road and, well, you'll see. Okay, what's my, uh... Head for the motorway. Reach the destination and do what? Wait, I didn't catch that. What am I doing? Oh, I need to do 12 near miss skills. Ooh, okay. At the roundabout, Is that not one? Oh, well, here's a good way to do your muscles, driving the wrong direction. Ah! That's not a miss. Do I have two only? Awesome enemies. Yeah, I do not know the geometry of this car. I have not played this in a long time, so uh, doing skills based on remembering how wide the car is. That's not right. And I refuse, absolutely refuse. If I have to play a game that I can only do it from uh, third person view, I'm not going to play that game. So. <laughs> Turn around when it is safe to do so. Uh, okay, I might have to redo this chapter. How much time is left? Two minutes? Up to seven, eight. Come on, traffic. I'm not turning around. I need traffic. Awesome in this. Hi, thank you. Not so awesome in this. I'm going to miss this car on the way. Let's, oh, how did I... How do I not miss him? When it is safe to do so. You know what's awesome at high speed? Okay, I got 12. That's all I Just want. Just <laughs> a tiny bit. At the roundabout. Oh, a minute 40 to get to my destination. Exit. Oh, I need 24 for two stars, yeah. That's, I'm not going to get that. What did I tell you? Stomp the accelerator and blink, and you're halfway to Edinburgh. You can bring it on back now. And call me soon, yeah? Yeah, sure. All right, I took my one star and went home. I wasn't going to risk it. It took me like three minutes to get 12 of them. I didn't think I could get another 12, and 
one and a half minutes. Oops, wrong button. Let's see what's next. Right, we've done the motorways. Time for a nice fast spin in the countryside with something a little more eco-friendly. My BMW of course. i Got it. Because we care about the environment. That's where we're I was supposed to be driving a roll with trees. land, but I snuck off to the motor show. Don't tell her. Okay, what am I trying to do now? More Apparently, time, it's yeah. more skills. Let's show them how a Horizon driver handles an e-brake. 7,500 skill score before. Yeah, this is how you handle an e-brake. I'm not, not sure what that has to do with. Uh, I just have to get skill points, right? Not particular drift skill points. They do give you plenty of time, and I found that these, all of these challenges, including the jumps and the, the speed zones and everything else, it's pretty easy. Even I can get one star pretty easily. The drifts, I struggle often to get one star. I think I've got one star of all the drift zones. But, uh, yeah, there were no drift zones in Horizon 2, I don't think. That was good old days. <laughs> come on, come on! That car will take anything you throw at it, I promise. Oh, so I got the one star. So it's pretty easy to get one star. Getting two stars is more of a challenge, and getting three stars for a skill set that you do not have. Uh is, well, it's impossible. You have to have skill to get three stars. That's the whole idea. If you weren't skilled, people would say, well, this stinks. I can get three stars without any skill. And they're right. They should. I should not be able to get three stars because I don't have skill. But uh, that's okay. I don't need three stars. Unless, of course, you're on Lego Island, in which case you do need three stars to finish the, uh, what you're doing. I'm going to try not to complain anymore about Lego Island after this episode, but I get a, I get one freebie. <laughs> this is my free episode of complaining. And if you know any way to collect bricks that still works um, in the unintended way, please let me know, because I, I will go back and get all the bricks if I can uh, do it in a totally cheese way. Recalculating route. Don't worry, insurance pays for anything you knock over. At least, I think it does. Are you telling me I got three, two stars already? Yeah, I got two stars. Oh, I could have probably gotten two stars. Oh, I need two I might, I, if I focused, I could get three stars. But uh, I'm going to be afraid that I'll lose it. I still have two miles to go. Turn left. Watch me get it on the way there. Thirty-eight seconds. Thirty-two seconds. Don't hit a tree. Do not hit a tree. Oh, what is that I had to drive through? Two seconds. Amazing drive. And you know what's uh, even more amazing? I made it. I was not sure. I was not sure I was going to make it. Two stars. I'll take that on a 
non-racing challenge. Well, folks, maybe you'll understand why I stopped playing uh, Forza Horizon. If you've watched any of my other streams, you'll know that I'm a, I try to be a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. And uh, I didn't like what this game, what that area specifically, was doing to uh, my attitude. So I took a two-year mental health break. <laughs> Have you seen? It's working. Our Horizon apprentices are throwing down all over the festival. Now the masters must teach them one of the most important skills of all. That of attaining sick air. Got just the car for oh, it. Oh, well, Scout I can do that. A. First SUV and still the best, if you ask me. Not if you ask anybody else, but definitely if you ask me. Welcome to 15 mud. air skills, huh? Just 15 air skills, huh? Come for the mud, stay for the jumps. Do I have to reach a destination or just get 15 air skills? I don't see a destination like this, so. This thing practically jumps without going over any bump. Oh. But you can't, uh... To get the air skill, you can't, uh, like, crash on the way down. It's gotta be, I was gonna say, it's gotta be 15. Yes, this is a, a race you can drive on this course. It's great fun. Something uh, I mentioned the uh, social aspects, which I'm not gonna get into here, but uh, in this episode, or probably the next. Until I do these stories, but uh, there are playground games. I used to play a lot of playground games. They're insanely fun. Oops. Nothing better than a day out of mud. Okay, that's two stars. Oh, 50 more. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> well, less than a minute to do another 25. Yeah, I'm not getting two stars. And I don't have a destination to reach, so I might as well just move around. Well, this is a good, uh, good way to show off what, uh, what people love about this game. It's not the driving. I know there's a big jump here. I don't know if I have enough time to get it. There it is. Now, if you did that not in a challenge, you would go in slow motion off the cliff, which is kind of cool. Nice! You can bring me my scout back now. Watching you makes me want to play with it. Stay in touch. Yeah, I'm I could probably get 50. Already. So I really focused and practiced and... You hit the button, right? Yeah. And yes, there's all these things. There's credits, there's influence points, there's uh, other things. There's this skill streak level if you want, and you get things like, I got a new chat. 
There's wheel spins. Oh, that's something I need to do. When this story's over, I'll go to my menu and unlock. Look at all the messages that I've not read in two years. There's money to be had there. How many of these have I done so far? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five more. Okay. What do you think? No moving trains, no traffic, just a whole lot of asphalt. And my Focus RSRX Gymkhana Custom Edition. 600 horsepower, all-wheel drive. Does exactly what it says on the tin, my friend. This is a nice car. Go on, I, uh, your I have one just of these tuned up. Anything. 2,500 skill points again. One star should be pretty easy. If I get a good sweep going here. My high streaks are like well over 100,000 in the right environment. No, don't hit anything. Uh, just said don't hit anything. Wait a minute, I'm hitting anything, everything. Don't hit anything, I'm hitting everything. What are you talking about, Jamie? Jamie? I'm Jamie. It's spelled with I M. So it must be Jamie. Or Jam. I think it's supposed to be like jamming, like a play on jamming. Yes, there's a ramp there. Oh, uh, this is not a smart way of doing this. It's going to take so long. Oh, and I'm not going to even make it. Oh, no. That's a disaster. Yes, I want to reset my car position. I'm on the freaking roof. Yes, I'm stuck on the roof. No, let's not go there. Anyway, I was saying, yeah, the playground games are a lot of fun. There's like tag and, and uh, um, I can't even, infected, where you're you're either infected or not infected. There's King of the Hill where you try to maintain, you know, a certain ground. There's capture the flag. There's all kinds of fun social games. And I found playing these social games that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are at my skill level that are not, uh, not super good. How'd you feel? <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. You can give me the keys back now. It just give me. Hold on a bit. Did I make it? There we go. Yes. Okay. See you again soon. That is a good car. I like it. It's a good uh, pooning car. And there is a reason why I have the music on at all. I was tempted to turn, you can turn the radio completely off. Um, wait a minute, what did I do? Oh, I hit, I hit the wrong button. Did I not? Yes, oops. You can turn the radio completely off, but the thing is, one of the things that are in this game are these skill songs, where you get double skill points if, uh, for any skills you do while that particular song is playing, and uh, those are not available if the radio's off, so. And I've been assured that this music is license free. Look, you've got mad skills, no question. But this kind of driving really comes down to three things. Spoiler, suspension, and grip. So, I'm gonna give you a go in my Aventador. Wanna know how I afford all these? <laughs> yeah, so does my nan. <laughs> Yeah, we know how. Same way AJ made all of his really money. Nice this time of year. Go make it blurry. What do I need? Oh, again, it's just skill points, not any particular kind of skill points. There are these uh, every hour, half hour. There are these Forza thons. But there's a big blimp in the sky, and you meet with a bunch of players at the blimp. And uh, 
there are still challenges that you need to do. You, you all drive in a group to this skill place, and you have these kind of challenges where you, know, you need to do so many skills as a group in so many minutes. And that also shows me that there's a lot of people out there that cannot drift in the manner that they expect you to be able to drift. Because uh, I've played with them. And as a group, you know, we can get one or two people that can drift well enough to uh, carry us, but most people cannot play as well as they think you should be able to play in order to complete this game, if you're a completionist and want to do everything. Oh, did I lose that entire streak? Oh, for goodness sakes. You hit one tree, one tree, and suddenly your insurance goes up. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. I only have six times skills bank. Uh, I might be in trouble here, folks. I said getting one star was easy. It's not easy if uh, you really suck. Don't hit that tree. Oh dear! Yes, there is a fauna. Sheep, deer. Yeah. Yeah, another, I need a streak of another 10,000, and I got a minute to do it, so I should be able to do this. Except I picked the worst spot here by the trees. You can't catch them, in case you're wondering. Oh, I just need another thousand. I only have 40 seconds to go. Come on, Jamie, tell me I made it. Okay, I think I got it. All right. That's all I wanted. While overtaking someone, I have. Nice run. Of course, not everyone at Horizon can have an Aventador, but we can show them how to drive like they do. And for those of us who actually do have Aventadors, it's even better, isn't it? I suppose uh, I didn't quite catch the premise of this. I guess the premise is uh, he wants you to help teach people at the show how to moon around. Because, because, I don't know. Okay, four chapters to go. Oh, there's these wheel spins. You earn enough prestige, you get these wheel spins, and then you collect credits or you collect cars. Of course, I have just about all the cars you can get from wheel spins, so they give you the option of just saying, yeah, I'll take the money instead. There's also an auction house where you can auction off cars. But you, you'll never be able to auction off one of the common cars. But if you get a duplicate of some rare car, but of course you have to know what cars are rare and what cars aren't rare. <laughs> you have to kind of be immersed in the culture. Remember when I made a big deal about the Scout being the best off-roader ever made? I think, I think I might have found something even better. 2016 Jeep Trailcat. Stiffened suspension, full roll cage, and get a load roll of cage. fat wheels. Oh, I can't decide. Will you take it out and help me pick a favorite? Sure. Go. See what you can make it do. I need a second opinion. Need the skill starter. Okay. No destination. Oh, my second opinion is this thing sucks. <laughs> it's not second opinion. This is terrible. 
I can't get up any speed. It's really hard to drift when you can't get any speed. Now he's going to say, oh good, you've proved how good this thing is. No, this sucks. This is terrible. 25,000 skill points. I'll, I will be lucky to get 25,000 skill points. I might be lucky to get 1,000 skill points. Unless I keep finding things to run into. Okay, I don't I do not need a destination, so I can go find stuff to run into. Ow! Not actually run into, I mean knock over. Thanks, game. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, here's a fence. Fences are good. This thing does not drift very well at all. This is a drift zone, these flags. These are my bane. Is that enough? Yeah, let me bank it to make sure. Those power slides. Okay. Oh, One I star. Like thing. I like it a lot. I don't. I hate it. I mean, it stinks. Oh, I got two stars already. Oh, so I didn't need. To. What did I need for two? Fifty? Maybe fifty? I got two the same time I got one. I think. Now it's telling me I need three. And, uh, no, I'm not going to get... See, this is what I mean. 50,000 for two stars and then 200,000 for three stars? you got to really be good to get three stars on these, these challenges. And I'm not good. I do the best I can with what I've got, but I'm not good. Okay, let me practice my near-miss skills. Oh, I missed them. <laughs> but not nearly. Nice, nice. All right, I've decided. You ready? I've decided I now have two favorite off-roaders. Woo, that's a weight off my mind. And I couldn't have done it without you. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I have 114 ultimate e-drift skills. I was hoping they would show one of the other ultimates that I have. Because, uh, let me show you my stats. This will tell you everything you need to know about how I can drift or not. Uh, uh, where's, where's stats? Is it under here? 606 cars I own right now. Is it here? Yeah, stats. This shows you uh, skills. Okay. I have ultimate speed skills, 1,344. Ultimate burnout skills, 112. And uh, drift skills was what, 100? <laughs> so, yeah, not my forte. And I do a lot of drifting because that's an easy way to build up skill points. I just can't do them within a particular zone. The way the drift zones work is you can't just drift anywhere you want. You have to drive down a We're road and drift asphalt. within the flag. Sealed roads, motorways, <clears throat> hard surface speed and agility. And this time I've got a proper track weapon for you. My Viper GTS ACR. It's street legal, but it probably shouldn't be gonna make a seriously wicked video I mean if that's okay with you of course it's okay with me making me videos is what I do count. you just do your thing
Oh, um, why am I in this tunnel? There's not much I can do with the skills. I thought I had to get some. I don't. I can get speed skills, but those don't give me more points than anything else. Oh, that's why, because uh, this thing will not drive anywhere but the road. <laughs> this whole thing with just speed skills? That's one star. That's all I need. Good time to practice my my 180s. And my burnouts. Great 180. Great? Just great? Okay, I can do better. Not in this car, though. This car handles like a tugboat. It handles like a barge crashing into a bridge. Terrible. It's got speed. That's what it can do. <laughs> I mean, I still have two whole minutes to get as many points as I can? Cool! Oh, well, I should be able to get two stars then. If I don't hit anything. Too solid. Whoa! That was almost hitting something too solid. <laughs> Most points you get are doing combo skills, like you see Daredevil and that kind of stuff come up in yellow, then yellow squares. Those are combo skills. That's something that, something I understand they brought into now Forza Horizon 4 that they had in Forza 3 but didn't have in 4 before I left is the ability to set up um, Man, give me some I can't get up any speed here. I need some speed. I got 22 seconds to get another 2,000. Yeah, I should be able to do it with hops here. Okay. Let's bank it. Viper, but now I can get my phone out and watch you throw down in it anywhere, anytime. Sorry, 
But I can, and I will. All right, two stars. Oh, that's my avatar, by the way. Her nickname is Cat. She apparently also lives in Minnesota, by the based on the outfit. <laughs> yes, that's another one. You can all kinds of things to collect if you want to collect things. Outfits, um, individual hats and boots and pants and whatever. And there's different horns and there's different uh, quick message chat messages and. All kinds of things. So I'm a little, if I'm not, if I'm not hitting the buttons quickly in response, that's because my cat is here bugging me. I don't know. All this great PR and all these online views, and it still doesn't compare to that feeling when you lace a stunt right in the face of the crowd. Know what I mean? Time to go back to basics. This is my GTR, the black edition. I want you to take it down to the festival and blow some freaking minds because that's what we do. All right, we blow some freaking minds. 7,500 skill points before I reach the destination. Well, that should be pretty easy. So let's get close to there first. Actually, the easiest way to make skill points is just not follow the road. But I knew that was going to happen. Where am I going? Oh, that's quite a ways to go, okay. There it is. In these races to the destination, I find where you have to get skills along the way, I find, uh, in my experience, and I'm not great at this, as I mentioned, one of the best ways is just drive across the countryside and you get a whole bunch of wreckage skills and air skills and stuff along the way. If I don't hit a tree, um, you can rack up some good skill chains. Turn right. Wait, is this? Can I drive across this? Okay, some of, some of the rivers are too deep. Oh, that was lucky. Maybe I should bank this to make sure I get at least one star. Go, go, go! Come on! We're there going we go. out with a bang, not a whimper. Is this the last chapter? I guess this is the last chapter. Knowing what things you can hit and what things you can't, right. I cannot hit those bales. They will right. break my string. Yes, certain trees you can hit. Certain trees you can only hit at a certain speed. should try to get two stars, I suppose. I've got a minute and a half yet. It's kind of crowded around here, though. I should have thought of that before I got into the festival site itself. Ah, uh, heck. Let's just bank it. Hey, thanks a lot. And because you've been so amazing, I figured you might as well keep the car this time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It's definitely mine. But you can come down and borrow any of my cars anytime you want. What are you talking about? Of course you can. Uh-huh. You can keep the car. No, just kidding. I already have this car anyway. I've got 606 cars in my garage. And, uh, at least another 100 in the game that I don't have, at least. Oh, I got an achievement! 
Skill master, complete the ten chapters yep, of Skill Street. Granted, he's always excited, but if he's happy and you're happy, then that's my job done. I'll put you two in touch again soon. All right. Well, I got 15 more minutes, so uh, let's go run a race or something. Let's um. Yeah, what is this? That's my horizon life. Right. That's uh. These stars are uh, help you reach certain levels on certain things, which give you certain things. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Anyway, let's uh. Get to the full map and just look for. Cross country. And I don't know, do I have time to run the big cross country? I probably do, the Titan. Yeah, I should have enough time to do this. Let's run this. I will fast travel though. I don't want to start into anything else because I only have 15 minutes. I used to play this with uh, highly skilled as a difficulty level. There's like average, above average, highly skilled, something, something, something. Do I want to take this car? Oh. Yeah, sure, I'll take this car. This car is cool. Um, which is two grades above average. I have lowered the difficulty to average because I'm so out of practice with this game. I, I tried to beat on highly skilled and there was no way. when I was um, setting up for those thumbnails, so. This should be interesting. Oh, I might have, I might have uh, these camera things about the car. That's another thing you can collect. You can collect pictures of, uh, of all the cars in the game. I have not. That's something I can do. Not right now. That's something they added that was also in Horizon 3. Oh, that's what it's talking about. They have these skills blueprints in Horizon 3. Something Horizon 4 added was the ability to set up custom races where you just drive around and you can create your own tracks, basically. Open world races that are not limited to the tracks that they, the courses that they put in the game. Ouch. Uh, but in Horizon 3, they had custom skills blueprints where you could set up a challenge where make it from point A to point B in under so many seconds. And you had to be able to make it there yourself, but once you did, you could say, okay, can anybody else beat my record? And then you can publish that. They did not have that originally in Forza 4, but I think that's one of the things that they added in. You see how difficult this would be to do without the racing line on, because you can't see. I mean, if I could see where the road was going um, in gravel, I could barely get away with... I could barely get away with um, being able to not use the racing line because it was like all in the open desert and stuff when it was cross country. This is cross country around trees and, and buildings and without a racing line it would be very, very difficult. I'm 28% and uh, what place am I in? <laughs> 11? Oh! Oh, sick still, man. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't. I can hit that. I mean, I knew they weren't solid. I thought it would end your, uh, it would push you back more. But no, it just goes on the way. Maybe I'm thinking of, uh, Horizon 3. You couldn't hit those. Otherwise, they would smack you hard. Am I like in the P12 now? Oh, uh, no. Definitely am now. You see what I'm saying? Even without the driving line, every day I, I stink. I used to be okay at this game. I stink now. I might not be able to make it back. Another thing that I'll be doing on stream Every week I'll try to do the daily events and uh, weekly events. You've got a few days to do them, but I should probably, before this stream is over, let's see if there's any that are going to expire. Oh yeah, this is in this. I remember this jump is uh, a little crazy. A little crazy. Little, that's a little crazy. That is an actual jump you can, in the game, it's one of the uh, jump danger signs, they call them. Where you're challenged to get, you know, one, two, or three stars, depending on how far you can jump. Ah, oh, oh, there's 12th place. I'm, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make not last. Oh, I didn't know you could hit that. I'm not last, barely. I'm barely not last. Can I finish not last? That is my goal for the screen. Finishing not last. Because uh, everyone else is gone. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna be last. Does that count? I think that counted. All right, I can still, I can still do it. I can still come in not last. It's been two years since I play this game. I don't even remember what these courses are anymore. I used to have them all memorized, of course. We're well, pretty close to it. I remember, don't go over the jump. It's a sucker play. Oh, was that, was that 11th place? I almost took 10th if I hadn't hit that guy. Is that right? I did take 10th. No, I took 11th. Ah. Uh, five. Oh, no, he was gone. I don't know who that was. Yeah, that wasn't him. Well, 11th place. There you go. Not last. Let's see if there's a daily event that's about to expire. We can do that. The daily events and weekly events are things like jump so far or do a certain number of tricks or whatever. Well, you'll see. Fle festival playlist. <clears throat> Forza, Forza Thon Challenge. That's what I'm think thinking of. One of seven completed. The weekly challenge, I'm gonna have, I don't own a particular vehicle? Wow. Own and drive any sports utility here. Oh, I just, I'm not driving it right now, that's all. Like, wow, that's, oh, I got two of these by accident. Uh, I have two days to do this last one, but earn one threading the needle skill? I think I can probably do that. Excuse me. Sorry. 
Um, and if I get seven daily challenges, I get 60 bonus FP fame points. What's the FP Forzathon points? Oh, that's right. Because you can use them in the Forzathon shop to buy Forzathon things, which I have 1,840 Forzathon points just from playing it the last time. And uh, I own pretty much everything, don't I? Do I not own this car? Oh, maybe these are new cars. It tells you if they're if you own them, right? I better check. Bugatti Devo. Oh, 2019. I don't own that. Huh. Well. If it's 2019, I don't own it. Sure. Now it says it's owned. So this one I must not own also. This is uh, not as good a car for twice as many points, but I got them to spare. <clears throat> and yes, I own all these goofy suits and stuff too, because you get these on wheel spins. No, I'm not going to purchase a wheel spin for 40 points. Uh, so let's see, what do I need to do? I have the tiger. Earn one thread in the needle skill, that's it. Okay, I can do that. Whoops, wrong button. And the best place to do a thread in the needle skill is probably where? Here, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's start here. Basically, <clears throat> excuse me, throwing the needle is basically just uh, earn two new miss skills within, you know, a half a second of each other or whatever. One on the left, one on the right. Oh, you know what I should do for this? This is a trick I learned. Um... Go to solo. In solo, there's more drivatars. That is, computer AI players. Which makes it easier to do. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at this game. What am I doing? I should be doing this facing the other direction. This is not working out for me. Well, I have two days to do this, so I don't do this. You know, in the next few minutes, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll probably do it by accident within the next couple of days. Driving on the wrong side of the road probably helps. Oh, I think I would have had that if the guy hadn't cut the other guy off. Oh! I don't have the skill anymore to do that. This is going to be a depressing welcome back. It's going to be welcome back. <laughs> you know, I got an ultimate new this, but not getting the new one. There we go! Finally. Uh, what else is there for that? I won't know what the rest of them are until... Oh, 
own and drive that's all i need to do is own and oh there's that's right there's four parts to this sports utility hero vehicle okay well i can do that just to see what the next one is uh filter i have every class obviously with 300 something sport utility heroes is that it uh which ones do i have starred that one oh this is a good car i like this yes yeah, deliver it to me one of the things that all those uh finding all the roads and stuff do is they allow you to spend less money there we go oops why to view the challenges i missed it they allow you to spend if you, normally when you first start the campaign you need to spend money to do things like fast travel around the map and have them deliver a car to you but uh once you go through enough of the campaign you can uh, get free travel if you find enough for the bonus boards and stuff Okay, what do I need next? Throw your weight around and use your sports utility hero vehicle to earn 10 bin man skills. I can certainly do that. I was going to end the stream, but now I'm starting to get into it. Okay, let's uh, go into the city here. It's the best place to find bins. Oh, sure, anywhere. And I only need 10 of them. Oh, I know where to go to get 10 of them. There's a lot of bins on the, uh, the the first island expansion, but there's a couple right here. That's one. Is that a second one? Do I see a second one here? That's two. That's three. That's four. There's a different, we're going over telephone poles, that's a different one. The foam boots. Uh, how many do I have so far? It'll tell me if I go look. Oh, right. What was I just saying? There's more driver tires if you're on uh, solo. So let's go back and get out of solo. Because these cars are getting in my way. Oops. Not the bomb move. Okay, I cannot believe I don't have that already. Really? I must have it already. No! Well, what? How many do I have? Eight! I need two more, okay. There we go, kick the bucket. What's next? 
win three cross-country circuit events. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that in this stream, but that's something to come back to. And uh, if I do enough of those, I get, uh, what was it, 200 Forzathon points, which I can spend in the Forzathon shop in order to get uh, Forzathon gear. <laughs> Uh, and if I get seven daily challenges and the weekly challenge, I get a bonus of 60 bonus for that point. I mean, that's ridiculous. 60 for doing everything? That's not much of a bonus when I get 200 for this and seven, that's 140 for those. So anyway, that's how you build up Forzathon money you can spend in the Forzathon shop to buy uh, new cars and stuff. So I got a couple new cars that were added to the game since, uh, um, let's see. Do that. Get to the game. Get to the, wait. No, there are. Okay, seven hundred fifty-one cars in the game right now. I can see that by going to the promo thing here. I've I've collected pictures of thirteen of them. Obviously, I haven't really been trying. There's also this backstage thing where if you have certain rare cars, you can earn backstage points somehow. I don't really know how that works. There's an eliminator thing, which I've never tried, which is... Um, um, like a, a, a battle royale type of thing. Let's see where my new cars are. Unfortunately, there is not an option to say only look at the new ones. Make sure these weren't ones I didn't already have. Yeah, these are all my cars, folks. All right. I did not have that one. Nice. Nice. And uh, I don't remember what the other one was. I'll look at it later. Anyway, that's going to do it for to make me. That's going to do it for me today. I've uh, by the time I finish my outro, outro or outro, it'll be about two hours exactly. I know the first half of this was a lot of me storytelling, uh, quite a bit of me uh, complaining. <laughs> Hopefully, my attitude will be better next time. As I uh, play this game more, I'll help hopefully rekindle a, a love for it. Um, because I did love this game at one time. And uh, it's a shame that, that that one one business decision on their part, one design decision on their part, uh, really turned me off in the game. And uh, I guess that's on me. But, uh, yeah, it was. it's hard to... Being a tryhard, it's hard to not stuck, stick up for other tryhards and uh, call it out when uh, we're not taken into account. So, I am out of here now. Thank you all for watching. If you are watching this on Twitch, either live or after the fact, the VODs, and it turns out you missed something and the uh, VOD is no longer there. I do upload all of my streams to YouTube almost immediately after the stream ends. You can find my, you can find me on YouTube by just looking at my uh, profile on Twitch. There's a link there, or you can search for me, Roll Cage TV, on YouTube, and uh, you'll see the same profile picture come up, the racing cat, pretty much near the top. Last time I checked, it was near the, it was the top one. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube after the fact because uh, you like watching, you prefer watching things there, I feel you, brother. I, uh, I like watching. It's a whole different vibe. Twitch is a different environment. If you're used to YouTube, Twitch it can be a scary environment. If you watch things live, it's, all, it's hard to keep up with what all, the, what all the chats mean and all the memes that are in chat, etc. And uh, if you're going to watch a, a VOD, after the fact, they go away after 14 days, so you might end up in uh, episode 4 watching something, thinking, oh, this is cool, I want to see what episodes 1 through 3 are, and you look back and, oh, they're not there. <laughs> so, I understand Twitch is a different vibe than YouTube, but if you are on YouTube and you're committed to staying on YouTube, I would still like you to come over to Twitch. The reason is, the quality of videos I can produce on YouTube are directly related to the quality of the streams I can make on Twitch, since... I'm a streamer, not a YouTuber, but essentially, 
the content I put on YouTube is replays of my streams on Twitch. And so I can only put good enough, high enough quality on YouTube that I can make on Twitch. And I cannot make better quality on Twitch until I get more followers. So if you can, please come over to Twitch and follow me. It doesn't cost any money. You will need a uh, YouTube, or sorry, a Twitch profile to do it. But uh, if you already have a Twitch profile, or if you, you know, have some interest in, in getting one, because it, like I said, it's free to get a profile. You can name it something silly like Roll Cage's Bottom, and then I'll see Roll Cage's Bottom is following you, and I'll laugh, and you'll laugh. Um, so please come over to Twitch. Give me a follow. I need 50 followers to be able to broadcast in a better quality, and uh, that will help me create better YouTube videos. So if you're on YouTube and you want to find me on Twitch, there's a link in the description below every video. There's a link in my About page on YouTube. You can search for Roll Cage TV on Twitch as well. I'll come up near the top again. Uh, or you can uh, get a direct link by going to twitch.tv slash rollcage underbar TV. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I uh, appreciate your patience in uh, getting through my storytelling. I think next episode we'll get back to having fun. We'll go through a couple more of those stories. There's several more left to go. We'll take a crack at some more of those daily events and uh, weekly event try to finish that off and uh, then maybe we'll explore some of the new uh, multiplayer stuff that's out there so i will see you then until then i hope you have a great week or sorry a great day a great evening great couple days whenever it is till i see you again and uh, wherever you are going in that meantime i do hope you will enjoy the drive thanks again bye bye